During the Pennsylvanian, there was a great diversity of land plants, but because their foliage tended to look similar, they're hard to distinguish. That brings us to an interesting point, and that is that the Carboniferous represents the first flowering, if you will, of land plants. There have been plants on land demonstrably since the Silurian, and maybe going back as far as the Cambrian. There are some interesting suggestive possible fossils. Uh, but large plants, trees, didn't appear until the very end of the Devonian. So it's only going into the Carboniferous that we get the first forests. Well, forests are photosynthesizers that eat carbon dioxide. And as you can see, carbon is being buried here by our glacial and interglacial cycles and give off oxygen. The result is that the Carboniferous was a time of low carbon dioxide atmospheric content and unprecedentedly high oxygen. And this, I think, is the most interesting thing about this outcrop and any Carboniferous outcrop. The Carboniferous could be called the age of oxygen. It is a time when atmospheric oxygen was at its all-time high in concentration of roughly 30 percent. That's as opposed to about 20 percent today. The result was that although the plants seen here and that you see depicted in murals everywhere of Carboniferous coal swamps grew in moist, lowland, swampy environments, they were nevertheless subject to frequent wildfires like you might associate with arid chaparral forests of, you know, California and uh, the western U.S. today. Something that we just don't have today and it's hard to imagine in today's world. What else can you do with a high oxygen concentration in the atmosphere? Well, you can power big animals. The result was that the arthropods like millipedes, centipedes, dragonflies, and other insects um, were very big by comparison to what we have today. A large dragonfly today has a wingspan about like this. A large dragonfly from the Carboniferous, more like this. And how did they manage to sustain their metabolic activity at that body size? They needed the high oxygen concentration.